Okay, now uh, we will see how to add a web class module into a course. Now before that, uh, since this is a new instance, I had to create a new course. So I will quickly create a new course. And uh, I will go with the default settings for most of the items. And for the time being, I will skip this one. And okay, now we have a new course. Uh, first, we have to turn editing on, and in the say we want to add a web class instance into this part. Uh, so, in the add an activity list, uh, you can see web class here. So, I will click that, and this is the page for uh, configuring web class instance so I will so I will use the same one here and uh, here's some introduction to this particular web class and uh, so here the most important one is uh, enable slides and I will say yes and you can see now this box has been enabled so I have to choose or upload a file now uh, before that we have to create this slide sets uh, as JPG so I will show that process to you so I will open Microsoft PowerPoint and uh, okay, use this one so okay now this is a normal presentation uh, PowerPoint presentation so what I have to do is I have to uh, save this as uh, uh, JPGs so I will go into the file menu save as here you have to select uh, JPGs and I will click save so it will ask you to save only the current slide or the every slide and I will select every slide and uh, the slides have been saved so uh, now uh, we'll open up ok now uh, this is the uh, slides I have uh, uh, saved earlier so what I have to do is I have to create a zip file out of these files so I will select all and right click send to a compressed file so this is the file I have to upload into a Moodle so I will copy it. I, I have copied it to the list of temporary Over here I will select uh, that file ok now I will upload that uh, compressed file just this one upload it I will select choose here so that's it then I will save changes oh in fact uh, I have made something I have to uh, configure the red, red file streaming server also uh, here select enable video yes and as you can see in this example this is my red file server so in this case our red file server is uh, Internal. Okay, now I will save changes. So now this is the uh, created uh, web class instance. Now using these navigations, you can uh, go through the uh, uh, slideshow. And uh, once the students connected to this server, they too also can navigate through the slideshow. So, and when you are ready to uh, broadcast your video, you have to click start broadcasting. So, I will click it. So, as you can see, this is me. I will uh, adjust the camera a little bit. So, uh, now I think uh, you can configure a web class module uh, successfully.